Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today we're looking at this, the 2016 Mercedes-Benz C63 S Coupe Forza Edition. This is a real-wheel drive drift build. And I even have a description there, second, third, fourth gear, real drive points. When the points are available, I already have it saying it. King Posh Gaming for tunes. Which you guys are getting a build and tune in this video sadly there is no share codes so basically you're gonna have to press the select button in here and put everything in so you put in s drift best for him or you can type in my name you can type in king posh and i'll come up all capital letters king space posh and then you can search that way and i am the second one down now let's look at the other people, what they have. They don't have descriptions on their cars. It is what it is. All right. But I am definitely more powerful than them. All right. And I'm on, and this thing is only a level like 36. I was able to fully upgrade it to where I wanted it to be at level 35. Very, very happy with that. So, yeah. Let's get into everything, show you guys everything I've put into this car, and then we'll take her outside and go drifting. Okay, so everything here is going to be race all the way down. All right, here, all the way down, race. And I mean, that, that's what gives you, you know, 814 horsepower. That's the max you can get out of this, this car. All right, with the 777 foot pounds of torque. All right. Now, I did put a light weight to this thing only because I wanted to keep it into the S-Class range. All right. Now, if I do take it down here, all right, your, distri your distribution, your, you know, right here, look, it's 50-50. 50, 50. 50 in the front, 50 in the rear. That's perfect. You know, that's what you really want. But here, it's 53-47. It's all off. But, yeah, it would weigh a little less, but you'd be into the R-Class. All right, so if you need to get into the R class, well, that's all you have to do is change that. Okay. It does have drift springs. All right, and it's got a race rate reduction. I mean, hey, look at that. We're, we're saving some serious weight here. And this is what I was really working on the most because until you get the level 35, you don't have the money to do everything and then this. This is what was holding me back. All right. And I finally was able to get this thing tonight. And yeah, it, it's definitely a lot better. Uh, so yeah. Either way. Rear tire width is just stock. Okay. And then you have a stock tire compound. You can have race on here in drag. All right. All right. The rims. Are my TC 105 ends? I love these rims, and they look really good with this 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 car and this paint job. I really really like it, um, and it 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 just all works out together. All right, we got a race transmission, race differential, race clutch, and race driveline. Okay, if you want to see that paint job, um, where I got it, let's just. Bring it up and see if it even shows for you guys. So, my designs. Yeah, it's going to be right there. It's going to, there's the uh, creator. So, you guys can see who created this. It's, it's absolutely a beautiful paint job. I love the cartoon um, style. So, that's, uh, that's who did it. As you can tell, that's the uh, next car I'm working on, the TVR. All right. All right, let's go and show you guys the tune. All right, this is what I've did. Now, the top speed is 169 miles per hour. Just to let you know, when I shared this, it did have a top speed. And when I came back, it was failed. But it's got a top speed of nearly 170 miles an hour. All right. Either way, here's my tires. I gave you the maximum slip um, that I felt was comfortable. All right. And then here is my gearing. 
And like I said, you'll be using second, third, maybe fourth gear uh, when you're drifting this car. And then everything else is relatively close in case you need those higher gears depending on the track that you're on. All right, the alignment, it's a little, a little out there, but either way, we got uh, negative 1.4 to negative 1.4, five degree out. Rear is 4.7. I felt like, you know, this car is actually very subtle going sideways. Even with that rear all the way to 4.7, it is a very subtle drift car. All right, it's very easy to use. Regardless, let's keep moving on. Anti-row bars are just there for show, so one in one. All right, springs are at 955.1 and 936.1. The easiest way to get these numbers is you're going to take these and you're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Watch this. See, like this would go down to a one. But if you go over to the other side, see, it's six, one, six, one. All right, now you've got a two, seven. See, you don't want that. So once you put all the parts on the car and you come to this, you'll you'll be able to fix that all right if you try to put the tune on without all the necessary parts the numbers aren't going to add up but just try to get close to that number as possible okay right height i decided to make sure they were both uh even and then dampening is a little different on my rear wheel drive on this one usually i do 13 13 1 and 1 but this time I decided to change it up and do 13, 1 and 13, 13, like I do with my all-wheel drives. I said, hey, why not? All right. Didn't even touch the, all that stuff. All right. There is downforce on this car. We can't get rid of it. So take it all the way down to speed on both the front and the rear. All right. Braking, I just left it 50 and 100 for you guys. All right. And then my differential for this rear wheel drive is 21% and 100% deceleration. And there you have it. There is the tune, the build. All right. No, because I was just showing you guys how everything was set. Now, let's go into the test drive. We'll go right to Maple Valley. Why not? I do have a replay as well. Just in case things go south, even though they shouldn't. All I'm gonna say, this thing is very subtle. All right. Inside there, but we're fine. And she drifts. Like I said, very subtle. I wish she had a little bit more power, but uh, and she's on race tires. She, she's on her own brand of Forza Edition race tires. You know, if I had a stock tire compound that makes make her a little more slippery, I would. But she does fine. And you don't need to be a level 50 to get this car at all. You can be a level 35, 36 to get the car. A lot, a lot less than trying to get the car up to a level 50, which is nice. I don't even have to show that replay. This is smooth. Really, really liking this. Yeah, you have to play with the e-brake a little bit with this one too. But like I said, you are on Forza Edition uh, race tires. So... You, you do have to really work with that extra grip on you. It is what it is. But yeah, super smooth. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Either way. And, even though I hit the wall a couple of times there at the end, 
there's no really major damage going on here. It, it, there are little scratches there, but this paint job really hides a lot of the damage. It's really beautiful. Either way. So you get, yeah, if you guys want to see the, the car I'm working on next, let me show you. All right, this car drifts stock. It, it, it is wild. This car right here drifts like mad and i mean it's complete when it's completely stuck and it took it took a pain to even get it to even grip and race um i'm still working on it um but uh yeah let me just show you guys this car um it's absolutely nuts all right so i mean you got 489 horsepower but i got a weight re you know distribution of 50 50 which is perfect just like the mercedes but this thing only weighs 27, 2800 pounds. And I mean, it's, it's, it's something else. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's got, you know, you can at least guys see what I at least have on it um, as of right now. And as you can tell, it's only a level 13 right now. So I, I just been starting to work on it. I, I still got a ton of stuff to do to this thing. Alright, I, I even put a little weight on it to keep it down in the A-class range on that thing. Alright, and I mean, you can make this thing even lighter, you know. Uh, it, it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild when, I, when I'm done with it. Alright, um, at least on this one I have street. But yeah, you're running stock. When you get this car and you're running stock, this thing will do nothing but drift. Um, I, I spent all my time just in the... Um, on the first uh on the first race uh I, I went all the way to the like the 10 minute timer just so i could get enough levels up to upgrade what i could to maximize grip look at this i have max width sides on both the front and the rear just to keep this thing um in play and uh yeah it's got the tc 105 end rims as well um but another good, and, and then you got like, you know, you can put just, you know, spoiler stuff on there, but I won't. Um, not until I need it. Um, but you can get uh, engine swaps on this, on this vehicle. On Horizon 5, I have uh, a diesel engine in mine and have it for real drive drifting. It's absolute a hoot to drift. But, uh, and, and you can make this thing all wheel drive. Uh, I also noticed too. And of course, you know, twin turbo or supercharger i mean look at this you can go right from 49 horsepower to 637 with this thing it is an absolute wild monster so yeah so that's the uh that's the car i'm working on um as you can tell there really hasn't really been anything here yet to do um until uh i just wanted to get the car uh at least grippy until I start really tuning it, but it is what it is. So yeah, definitely check out that car when I get to it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a wild drift car. I'm gonna tell you guys that, that's for sure. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.